Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will discuss about Databricks Spark Developer Certification. This certification exam is on Spark version 2.x. Okay. Uh, as you know, in the big data world, the fastest growing technology is a Spark, which is adopted by the data engineer, data analytics, data scientist, or even normal developer started using the Spark framework. Uh, so and the major programming language used is a uh, either Scala or Python. Okay, so we'll discuss about today is a uh, Scala. More focus on the Scala we'll be giving because uh, the entire Spark uh, framework itself written on the Spark uh, Scala. And uh, if you use Scala programming, then it is relatively faster than Python. Okay. So now, but Python has a little bit rich uh, numerical related library but if you want to use latest features of spark so you should consider the scala let's start with this uh, about the certification how to prepare for the certification what in this certification is being asked okay so for that i'll refer the page on our hadoop exam website okay for where we have discussed about this so let's go here click on this so uh, before moving into this uh, let me tell you for to prepare for the certification Hadoop exam is providing 360 plus questions for uh, preparing the certification with this question you will also get the complimentary videos to prepare for the certification this in this video we will discuss selected programming questions out of this 360 questions okay so we will explain you in detail selected question so it would help you to understand thing okay so uh, and spark in last three years become very popular okay and uh, uh, there is a if you start working or using the spark you will get to know why it becomes suddenly so popular the speed the code conciseness if i ask you to write code in hadoop map reduce then you would initially think like i have to write a lot of code but if you start using Apache Spark, you will get to know you have to write very little code. And even with the Spark 2.x, it makes more user and developer friendly API they have created using data frame, data set, graph frame. These are the major improvements they have done in the Spark 2.x. So this is the syllabus which they have mentioned on their website they are going to cover the seven major topic they have mentioned first the spark basics you need to know so spark basics still like even you use the spark 1.x or spark 2.x that remains same underlying framework uses the rdd there is a driver there is an executor there's a worker node this is all cluster concepts remain same whether you use spark 1.x or spark 2.x okay so this is like you need to understand what is rdd and how this works their transformations their api their action and all this thing you would be knowing in the spark basic then spark streaming so they have created new streaming uh, cons uh, if streaming already there in the spark 1.x that is using the dstream you have to solve your streaming problem but in spark 2.x there's a richer API is created and you don't have to learn two, two different API like in case of spark 1.x you have to learn dstream API as well as the RDD API data frame API etc but with the uh, in spark 2.x they have created a structured streaming API which uses the same API as the data frame API or data set API so you don't have to learn a uh, separate API for that same API will work so that is the major difference so that is the second topic so whenever you want to process the real-time data or feeds which are coming and you want to apply analytics on this you can use spark streaming okay then spark architecture I would say there is no major change on the spark architecture other than some optimization engine and one encoder have been introduced for this even that is in 1.6 it was there okay but uh, this is like with the data set and data from it is majorly used and spark suggests as much as possible use the spark SQL like or uh, like rather than directly working on the RDD you should prefer using data frame or data set API 
underline still it uses the RAD okay so if you see some optimization issues or something kind of thing you need to know RDD concepts how it works kind of thing how direct a cyclic graph works etc okay so that is in the spark architecture they wanted to cover like uh, how to optimize how do you uh, like um, optimizes more of a performance but architecture like component how it is designed kind of thing so and how cluster has to uh, is designed what is uh, where the exactly uh, worker node runs where the driver node runs what is the executors how the data distributed how the data partitioned across the nodes in the case of graph how data is partitioned in case of data set how data is partitioned in case of rdd etc what happens when you cache the data kind of thing if what happens if data is uh, bigger than your available memory what happens in this situation do you lose the data or what how etc should be covered as part of spark architecture then machine learning in the machine learning there are various algorithm classification clustering dimensionality reductions collaborative filtering supervisors or uh, supervised unsupervised learning you need to understand this conceptually and uh, might be they asked one or two coding question based on the this le machine learning algorithm but we don't uh, expect too complex algorithm based on the machine learning because developer are not expected to learn the machine learning it's a, a specific subject for the data scientist world and even little bit on the data analytics but if you are a developer and then it is not expected you to learn all this thing. it is very uh, like if you have a statistics background or mathematical background then it you might understand it but it's not a small topic altogether it's a huge topic and we uh, assume uh, and uh, we believe they won't ask very complex question based on this machine learning algorithm then spark performance and debugging so you need to know which all important parameter you need to configure for uh, improving the performance and debugging it what happens if something goes wrong where to look for which ui to consider which log we need to consider that is as part of a spark performance and debugging so that is again s similar to 1.x it's uh, not major change here yeah performance wise yes there's a new uh, this tungsten engine and uh, um, if you use the spark sql then uh, uh, catalyst optimizers etc so it's being used so you need to understand basic concept behind that how it is being used then spark sql as a major uh, change even not i would change it was available in 1.6 but or richer API is created in 2.x based on the data frame and data set so you need to be well versed with this API we have a lot of questions based on this data frame and data set API even each topic we are covering in our exam simulator okay and finally graph frames so in the graph frames you need to know various algorithm graph related like breadth first search connected components strongly connected components label propagation algorithm uh, there are various page rank algorithms or test path triangle count etc plus how to apply the uh, filter function sql query functions motif expression 100 percent you will get a question based on motifs okay so so this is all topics are covered uh, like uh, we have question be on this topic okay so each topic and uh, if you complete all this question paper then I'm sure you would become uh, expert in the spark 2.x because uh, we have detailed explanation wherever required to each questions we provide selected videos for the programming questions we have questions related to fundamental core concepts and fundamentals etc so this is what uh, in our simulator okay so uh, how how does you if you I, I sorry if I mention simulator means this is the product which we are I'm talking about so this is here seven question paper so you just click on this so it will restart the question paper you can uh, read the instruction here on this okay so each question paper has approximate 60 questions okay and um, this you just click the next next step you can 
uh, visit the questions and once you finish the exam you just click the finish button in between as well and click on the question number to see the explanation and the answers of the question if there is an explanation and answer is given so here in this question you can see this is the entire question and its explanation is given here how the result is achieved kind of thing so that is what in our simulator okay so you just click on this and you can come to the gun so these are seven question papers so this is the software you need to install on your machine to work upon and uh, you can uh, go through this all 360 question I recommend you read the explanation in detail kind of thing and understand the each concepts in detail okay so these are the tips questions answer wherever required we have given the explanation of somewhere some tree very simple questions we don't give the explanation okay so this is like coding question so we would be creating the videos in process of creating the videos soon that would be available as well so that is about how you prepare for this Databricks Scala certification uh, sorry spark 2.x certification okay and uh, we do have various training as well for this preparing for the spark okay so there currently spark related training here is a um, okay this is the training where you can click on this and these are the all topics we covered here you can see here like currently we have 32 topics even even in each topic multiple trainings are there so we de explain in detail actually everything okay so you learn basically uh, as much as possible and you can see the demo video here as well uh, we have uploaded on YouTube so you can go through this and you can learn about this okay so uh, Hadoop exam provides various train materials okay uh, you can go to the home page to see the all the available product we have annual subscription package as well which includes all this trainings and this books as well okay as part of this uh, so you can visit what all included into annual subscription you can check here if you have any doubt or anything you can just drop an email to this uh, email address or you can give the call on this this is the India number so code is plus nine one here use also plus nine one as a code before calling this okay and if you are using mobile or something you can just click on whatsapp and you can do the whatsapp uh, to us and do the your query clarified on the whatsapp okay so that's all about this so these are all questions so we would be providing uh, uh, more materials and uh, one very important thing uh, as we have keeps uh, suggesting every learner or every subscriber to us if you are going to appear in the real exam so before appearing in real exam at least one week before send an email to us like I am going to appear in the exam if you have any update related to that particular exam send me the update whatever feedback or whatever latest update we do have to help you we will provide you if you send an email because we don't know when you are going to appear for the exam correct and we recommend at least one or two weeks before because if there is anything in process also then we can share with you because we want you to succeed that is what our motto uh, so if there is any update we will share you and at last well, please provide your feedback once you appear in the exam uh, whatever you see the differences or new things included in the exam we would try to accommodate this thing and any future candidate would get the benefit or even you can get the benefit by getting the updates of the simulator because even if you clear the exam you still want to sometimes refer the simulator to clear your concepts correct so and uh, preparing for the interview so thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session and wish you all the best for your big data career and whatever if you are becoming data scientist data analytics world or data engineer whatever is working this certification will certainly helpful for that thank you